Hey Truth Seekers, welcome back. Zach here. Yesterday I did a video on the dinosaur bone discovery near Seattle, Washington. And from there I went back and looked at the history of dinosaurs and showed how all the details from past to present lead one to think that dinosaurs are likely a hoax. <clears throat> From our own history, also from the field of paleontology, there has been a fraud committed against humanity that was for the purpose of proving the theory of evolution. This is now an acknowledged fraud. It was Piltdown, Piltdown Man, discovered in England in the year 1912, and this hoax lasted from 1912 until it was proven to be a fraud 41 years later in 53. So think about that. Think about all the kids and generations who grew up learning about Piltdown Man as some scientific proof for a theory, and it turned out it was nothing but a lie. What I find more curious is that this conspiracy lasted for 41 years, and the word Piltdown with Pythagorean sums to 41. But even better than that, with simple English gematria, Piltdown sums to 113 the number that goes back to Bava Kama 113a, Jewish holy text, that says a Jew can circumvent a Gentile, a Gentile is a non-Jew, by lying. The word mainstream has a gematria of 113, green screen, and same with the word dishonest. And this perfectly describes our mainstream media at this day and age. Lies, fake imagery, completely dishonest. Let's watch this little YouTube video on Piltdown Man. And what's comical is we're going to hear the voice of Professor Johansson, who supposedly discovered Lucy in the year 74. We'll talk more about that. Let's watch the video first. One of the most interesting examples of how the evolution theory offered inspiration to British imperialism was the scandal of the Piltdown Man. Just want to pause here real quick. With regards to my dinosaur post yesterday, if you haven't watched that, guess where the first dinosaur bone was also discovered? Yes, also in the UK. And it was UK educated elitists who spread all the dinosaur knowledge. The first dinosaur bone was discovered in the 1800s. The term comes from the year 1842, during the Industrial Age. Think about what was going on in that age. Greed was taking over. People trying to re-steer humanity. Here we go. In 1912, a strange skull was dug up in Piltdown, England. Charles Dawson, the scientist who found the skull, together with his team, declared that it belonged to a creature that was half ape, half human. Arthur Keith, the famous evolution anatomist, examined the fossil and confirmed the results. However, Dawson and Keith emphasized an important point. The brain size of Piltdown Man was as big as that of modern man. The jawbone, however, had ape-like features. Suddenly, the brain of Piltdown Man became a source of great pride for the British. Since his skull was found in England, it surely had to be an ancestor of the British. The great size of the brain was supposed to indicate that the British had evolved to a higher status than the other races, thus in effect confirming that the British mind was superior. Which is why the discovery of Piltdown Man aroused such great excitement in England. Newspapers ran headlines. In social circles, they joyously celebrated this discovery. The British government, for their part, honored Arthur Keith with a knighthood as acknowledgement for his work on the Piltdown Skull. The famous evolutionary paleontologist, Johansson, 
explains the relationship. Here's the ASU professor. We're going to talk more about him in a little bit. Between Piltdown and British imperialism as follows. The Piltdown discovery was very Eurocentric. Not only did the brain have preeminence, but the English had preeminence. The inspiration the English derived from Piltdown Man lasted for 40 years. Then, in 1953, a scientist named Kenneth Oakley examined the fossil in detail and disclosed... I want to point out, Truth Seeker, that Oakley is a 33 name. And the reason Piltdown Man was probably exposed in 53, 41 years later, is just like how I showed. The gematria of Piltdown was 41, coinciding. This is how they rule with the hoaxes. That lie expired. Time to move on to the next one. Suppose that it was, in fact, the greatest forgery of the 20th century. The fossil had been faked by attaching an orangutan jaw to a human skull. London Radio announced this fact in astonishment. Britain's August Natural History Museum is all a dither over a scandal concerning the Piltdown Man. One of the most famous fossil skulls in the world is declared to be in part a hoax. Forty years ago, its discovery was a sensation. Today comes the shocking news that this is skullduggery. For the evolutionists, the Piltdown Man scandal was only a beginning. In the coming years, other skulls were presented as proof of the ancestor of man. But later, each one of these proved to be either a fraud or a misinterpretation. It was determined that these skulls either belonged to extinct ape species or ancient human races. Despite this fact, evolutionists went even further and dared to present fossils of chimpanzees, orangutans, and even pigs as ancestors of man. Yet over time, they had to reject these fossils, to which they gave names such as Zinjanthropus, Ramapithecus, and Hesperopithecus. The story of Piltdown Man provides a symbolic indication of how British racism derived support from the theory of evolution. English imperialism had actually found more solid grounds to rely on. So there it is, Truth Seeker, Piltdown Man, the fraud used to justify UK elitism, justifying in their minds their superiority. Think about what the UK has done to the world colonize the whole thing. It's no doubt they're intelligent, but worse than that, they're extremely corrupt and dishonest. And again, Piltdown Man has that corruption, dishonesty even coded right into its own name. Dishonest equals 113, just like Piltdown. This stuff is unmistakable. As for Don Johansson, I want you to notice that Don, when you go by that in simple English, Don is 4 plus 15 plus 14. Don's a 33 name. Johansson's also a 33 name, just like Oakley, the other person they had comments on it. And the story of Lucy is much the same as the story of Piltdown Man. And if you look at the details of this story, it's all full of 33, including the discoverer. Johansson's 33 name. Lucy is a name with a lot of threes coded into it that sums to 16. Only the numbers 16 and 90, 90, when spelled out and summed, have gematrias of 33. Arizona State University is on the 33rd parallel north. ASU, the acronym, sums to or breaks down to 113. A is the first letter. S is the 19th. 1 plus 9 is 10. 1 plus 0 is 1. So A equals 1, S equals 1. I can't type right now, truth seeker. And U is the 21st letter. 2 plus 1 equals 3. So ASU becomes 113. USA is 311. So another 113 connection here. And Lucy is housed at Arizona State University on the 33rd parallel. This is where I used to go to school. I've actually seen Dr. Johansson talk about Lucy in person at a seminar.
When I was in college, I didn't have it quite figured out how hard I was being hoaxed. I thought Mr. Johansson was interesting to listen to. Notice that Lucy was discovered in the year 74. Remember, we talk about 33, 47, 74, so often being paired together, especially in hoaxes. 74 is the number of Jesus. The English translation of Jesus is Joshua, which sums to 74. The Greek spelling Yeshua sums to 74. In the Quran, it's Muhammad. Muhammad sums to 74. So does cross. Discovered in Ethiopia, which has a gematria of 47, just like the word Christian. Remember, these numbers were also very present in the dinosaur post I just did. Also, Lucy with simple English gematria, instead of summing to 16, sums to 61. This is another number of much importance. The word church is 61. Sea of Galilee, where Jesus comes from, has a 61 connection. Galilee itself is 33. If you read the details of the story, he was driving his Land Rover when he spotted Lucy, supposedly. Rover is a 33 word. And again, all this is to support the model of evolution as proposed by Darwin. 33 name, died on a 33 date. Connects in with the Big Bang Theory. I mean, if you think Piltdown Man is a hoax, think about Big Bang. Talk about a ridiculous hoax, truth seeker. And to think of all the people across this world studying this, paying money to learn this. This is how the gang rules. Charging us for their deception. Buying their newspapers. Buying their magazines. Paying to go to their seminars. All this time they're lying to us. Paying for lies. So that's pretty much the message, Truth Seeker. Hope you learned something new. Thanks to those of you who tipped me off to go back and look at Piltdown Man. It was a worthy look. All right, signing off. Until next time.